Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, to Father. We include in this Mass our personal intentions. And we also include in this Mass Thanksgiving for the wedding, of, wedding anniversary of Ryan Ben and Pam Sabilala. We also include in this Mass our departed brothers and sisters and all the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our saints and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace is to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to heart, and they asked Peter and other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? 
Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let the response be, The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from the death and preserve them in the spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she, went, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She, she thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. 
Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon pong muli sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Today is Tuesday within the octave of Easter. Let us reflect on the two questions asked by Jesus to Mary Magdalene. First, why are you weeping? Why are you weeping? Mary Magdalene wept because she found the tomb empty. She is looking for Jesus. She wept until Jesus appeared to her. Today, Jesus is also asking us, Why are you weeping? What is it that burdens you? What pains you? Ano bang nagpapahirap sa atin? Ano bang pinoproblema natin ngayon? Ano bang mga bagay na bumabagabag sa atin ngayon? Let us tell Jesus everything. He is willing to listen. He will help us and He will comfort us. Second, what are you looking for? Mary Magdalene is looking for Jesus. She didn't recognize Him until Jesus spoke to her and called her name. There were also times when we don't recognize the presence of Jesus in our life because we are preoccupied with so many things. And today, Jesus is also asking us, What are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Maybe we are looking for answers. Maybe we are looking for solutions for our problems. Maybe we are looking for the peace of mind so that we can sleep tight at night. May all of us see and recognize the presence of Jesus in our life. He is truly alive. He is our strength and our hope. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bunch of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the Son of able to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father. Forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. 
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace, peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio, and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offerings. <laughs> Please all stand. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio. All together. Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietro China, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon and this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage. With you, our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our heart, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly. Do not sin again to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus, the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Una sa inyong pagdalo sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, sa pagnanais nating palawakin ang dokumentasyon at datos ng mga pilgrims and devotees na bumibisita sa pambansang Dambana. Kami po ay nagaanyaya sa inyong lahat na makilahok sa ginagawang paggalap ng informasyon na makakatulong sa pagpapaunlad ng ating turismong pangsimbahan. Makikisuyo po kami na pakiska ng QR code na inyong makikita sa paligid ng simbahan at pakikumpleto ng mga impormasyong kinakailangan. Makakaasa po kayo sa aming pag-iingat ng private information na inyong ibabahagi bilang pagsunod sa batas ng Data Privacy Act of 2012. Ang inyong pakikisa ay malaking tulong at susi sa tagumpay ng proyektong ito. Sabado, ikaanim ng Abril, ay unang Sabado ng buwan. Mayroon po tayong prosesyon sa karangalan ng Mahal na Birhen sa ganap na ikalima ng umaga, nasisimula natin sa harap ng Fountain of Hope. Ang mga sasama ay naayayahang magdala ng kandila. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. 
O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang buka ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin. Upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Savior receive.